I'm Mike Troman, I'm 72, and I'm here for a repeat angiogram. Well, a little, a little apprehensive, obviously, just really because I don't know what's wrong. So it'll be, it'll be good to find out what it is and get it fixed. Today, which confirms that his previous stents and his LED are widely patent. So the heart gets blood supply from two arteries. These are called the coronary arteries. There's a right coronary artery, which divides into two branches lower down. And there's a left coronary artery, which divides into a branch going to the back of the heart and a branch going down the front of the heart. And these two arteries, the right and the left artery, supply our heart muscle. So if you imagine the heart to be a pump, which is pumping away, the right artery goes along the bottom surface of the heart and gives it blood. The circumflex artery goes to the back of the heart and gives it blood. And the LED goes along the front surface to give the heart blood. If a patient has a narrowing, for example, in one of these arteries, which is quite severe, then that patient can get angina which they describe as a tightness in their chest when they exert themselves, or breathlessness on exertion. If a patient has an acute closure of an artery where it blocks off suddenly, that's when a patient has a heart attack. In the waiting area, we have Michael John Troman. Um, he likes to be called Mike. He is a 72-year-old gentleman. Rio Pro safe if we need to know is absolutely fine. He's been loaded with 300 of aspirin and 300 of clopidogrel. That's great, thank you. I'm just going to get some pictures, Mr. Truman. I'll talk to you shortly, okay? Just keep very still for me. If you, if you feel any discomfort of any sort, you give me a shout. Yeah, we've just got a tube up to your heart. We're just going to get some pictures in a second, okay? Just keep very still for me for the next few minutes. Let me get the pictures. As soon as I get some images, I'll tell you what I found and whether there's anything to do or not, okay? Just had a look at your right artery, Mr. Troman. That looks fine. Okay. We're now just going to go and have a look at the artery on the left. That's the one where you've got two stents in it. Just give me a few minutes, but the stents look absolutely fine. No, there's nothing wrong with the stents. I'm just going to get some measurements. I'll talk to you in five, ten minutes. Okay? Give me a sign blue at the back, please. Slightly higher. Just, just a touch more. Mr. Truman, I've, I've got some good news. Your arteries are fine. There is no problem there. Okay. It's difficult to explain your symptoms. I, I don't understand why your symptoms have come back. Let me have a think about it. Let me go through okay. uh, your, your notes again and we'll have a chat and we may have to do further tests. Okay. But, but one thing is for sure, you do not need any further stents. Right. It's one o'clock. We'll probably get you home around 6 p.m. But I'll come and see you before I go. Okay. okay? Yeah. See you later. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing intervention for around 20 years now and there are patients who, who get angina, who, whose lives are affected with, with angina, their quality of life is affected, they can't do day-to-day -day things, they can't do things they enjoy doing and that's very satisfying because the minute you put the stent in, the angina is gone, it's, it's pure plumbing effectively where you go in, you open up the blockage and, uh, and the patient's symptoms are better the same day and that, that's what's nice about it.